Hey guys, this is Bharatwaj with Phone Arena and this is the Lenovo K900 that we unboxed very recently. So you may have seen the two gameplays that we showed you earlier. One was of uh, the Asphalt 7 game from Gameloft. It's a racing game. It performed really well uh, on the K900. Uh, the graphics were great and the gameplay was really smooth. But the only problem we noticed was a bit of a heat dissipation over here on the top part of the phone during gameplay. So when you play games like this, you will feel the heat in your right hand or perhaps the left hand when you play it like this. So yes, that was a bit of a concern when we did the gameplay video. And we did demo another game, Shadowgun, based on the Unity engine. It's a third party, uh, third person point of view shooter and that too worked really really well it had great graphics it had very smooth gameplay but then again we noticed a bit of a heat problem there too that's probably due to the chip inside the phone this is running on an intel chip probably that explains the heat dissipation but yeah we did notice that but we also noticed that it was not as pronounced as when it was running as fault 7 it's hard to tell why, but yes, we did notice a kind of a difference between Shadowgun gameplay and Asphalt 7 under the same room conditions. And we did notice a spike in temperature which was higher during Asphalt 7 gameplay. So yes, that's what we noticed. So coming back to the hardware, the Lenovo K900 is running on an Intel Atom Clovertrail processor codenamed Z2580. It has a dual core 2 gigahertz processor Intel Atom of course and uh, it has the power VR SGX 544 MP2 graphics uh, so that is clocked at 533 megahertz which is one of the uh, fastest clock speeds for that chip so yes uh, we saw we already saw two games and now we know about the hardware and we are going to show you two more games uh, Dead Trigger, which is uh, also made by uh, uh, made with the Unity engine. The Unity engine is really good. It has great graphics. Dead Trigger is a zombie apocalypse game, and we're gonna take a look at that. And of course, another Unity engine game, Temple Run 2. So yes, let's start with Dead Trigger then. So we already said that this is based on the Unity 3D engine. So the graphics are pretty great and it is actually optimized for NVIDIA Tegra 3. But uh, it runs really well on other devices too without those fancy graphics. So I've already played through two of the missions. I am now in the day three mission which shows off the outside uh, parts of the game which looks really good and for gauging the graphics performance we needed to show you that and yes that's what we are going to show you now. So this is a first person shooter unlike Shadowgun which is a third person shooter. You have on screen controls and you have uh, really great graphics. As you can see there is a bit of a lag here and there. The sound quality is pretty good. There is a bit of a lag when shooting zombies. As you can see, the graphics are really good. Uh, there is a bit of a lag here and there, but the graphics are really good and uh, really high quality, unlike other things we have seen. So when, you know, a couple of zombies come, we uh, think the game lags a bit, but otherwise it's really awesome.
So yes, uh, there you go. That was a quick demo of uh, the gameplay and the graphics performance of Dead Trigger. It was really good, as you can see. Uh, bit of a uh, hiccup, some uh, here and there, but really good graphics and really good gameplay. We uh, really like this game uh, and the performance of this game on this phone. So one thing we have to note though, one small thing was that uh, we tried to load up Modern Combat 4 on this phone uh, and tried to open it, but it failed to open. We then browsed the internet we did find other devices running the same game, so it might be an installation problem with uh, our unit or something, but we could not get Modern Combat 4 to run on this phone. And uh, Asphalt 7, uh, right after the first launch, it crashed a couple of times. So these things usually happen when uh, you use an Intel device, so those things still stand, but that is not uh, completely the fact. It does run, as you could see, Asphalt 7 ran and Dead Trigger, Shadow Gun, uh, everything ran. So yes, uh, that was a quick review of uh, Dead Trigger. Let's move on to Temple Run then. So this is really uh, a huge device. <laughs> this is as far as I can zoom out to show you the complete phone uh, in my hands. It doesn't fit in the frame otherwise and as usual we have the best uh, quality graphics for Temple Run 2 to stress the phone to the maximum as you can see it runs pretty well no problems with the performance or the graphics it runs really well so there's nothing much to show here actually. This game uh, is not actually that graphically intensive but we do show it in all the reviews just for the sake of you know this is a least common denominator for games. So for, for that uh, to gauge the performance of every chipset we do the, uh, the LCD test and that's what you're seeing now. It is really good. And uh, yes, uh, that's about it. That's the gaming review of uh, the Lenovo K900. It plays games really well. This is a flagship device and as expected, you can play most of the games really well. It does have some heating, heating issues, but uh, that is not uh, isolated to gaming alone. It does happen for other things too. So we will cover those aspects in our full review. So don't forget to check other uh, aspects of our coverage in the links down below. You can check out uh, Lenovo K900 unboxing and our first impressions of the device. We will be bringing you the review very soon as soon as we complete our complete testing scenarios and all that. Uh, please come check back for more videos like these and do hit the like button if you like this video. Also you could subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like these. Thanks for watching.